Two local Catholic churches vandalized in the same week. Good afternoon, I'm Daniel Money. And I'm Natasha Paloma. Now the Diocese of El Paso is taking a look at its current safety protocol. KTSM 9 News reporter Tatiana Favela is live at one of the churches affected with what happened. The diocese tells us St. Matthew Catholic Church was one of the churches that was vandalized just five days before another church in the borderline was affected. So now they're not taking any chances. I really can't think of anything like this having taken place in El Paso, certainly not in the time that I've been here. The Catholic Diocese of El Paso calling the vandalism at St. Matthew's Church in West El Paso on May 7th and St. Patrick Cathedral downtown on May 12th as, quote, acts of violence. When we see that two events like this have happened in such short order, it certainly concerns us that, you know, it, it was simply, it wasn't simply an act of random vandalism, but, uh, you know, two events targeting churches. El Paso Bishop Mark Seitz says the diocese developed a security protocol last July for all churches and Catholic facilities in the borderland to follow, a process which is still in place today. We developed a plan that would help them get started in their parishes, and we asked parishes to form committees and to submit us their plan. As FBI and local law enforcement continue to investigate these acts, the diocese wants the public to know the safety of the church is of utmost importance. We are working on it. It's really important in an investigation like this that we not uh, increase the, the sense of uh, concern as, by taking part in, in spreading rumors and things like that. The, the truth is that no one, including me, know, know the details of, of this case right now. It is the special work of investigators and, and they need to be allowed to do their work. And the investigation is still ongoing, but the diocese is reminding everyone to keep vigilant. If you happen to know any information, you're asked to contact police immediately. Live in West El Paso, Tatiana Favela, KTSM 9 News.